Welcome to today's lesson. This is biology lesson for grade 12. Student, in our last lesson, we are seeing Mendelian genetic cross. And again, how to deduce genotype and the phenotype calculation for monohybrid and the dihybrid cross. In our today's lesson, we will see mitosis and again meiosis 1. At the end of this lesson, a student, you will be able to differentiate mitosis from meiosis cell division. Explain each stage of meiosis and its significance. A student, what do you think is the difference between mitosis and the meiosis cell division? Well then, all organisms divide to ensure the continuity of their like or species over a generation. This can be carried out mitotically and in meiosis cell division. When we say mitosis, it is a means of asexual reproduction that is mostly takes place in a unicellular organism but takes place in multicellular or eukaryotic organism during cell growth in the differentiation. Mitosis evolves only one parent cell. With the evolvement of one parent cell is evolved, cell can be divided mitotically. The end product of mitosis cell division is two daughter cell per division where each daughter cell can have identical genetic material in number with original parent cell. This is what is mitotic cell division to mean. When we say meiosis cell division, but it is a complex and the most important type of reproduction that takes place in living organism in ensuring continuity of species over a generation when the involvement of two parents is mandatory, which means the process takes place in the union of male and the female gamete. The key feature of meiotic cell division that differentiate from mitotic cell division are the following, where meiosis can evolve the union of male and the female gametes. It is mandatory for two parents to be present together. The division can be in this with four daughter cell, not two, just like that of mitosis, where each daughter cell can have reduced the number of parental chromosome by half. If the parental chromosome is for six, it can reduce by half, which is 23 where each daughter cell can show a genetic variation, not identical to the original parent cell, just like that of the original mitosis. This is the critical feature that meiosis can share, that can differentiate meiosis cell division from mitosis 1. During meiotic cell division, some character or biological process can be happen. This include, before meiosis cell division began, DNA in the associated protein, which we call histone protein, become duplicates. To means duplicate, it can make an exact copy of itself. The original parental chromosome become copy where the copy in the original chromosome become held together by centromer. And again, chromosome become condensed, found thin and long when they are not ready for division. We call this is said to be chromatin. 
One critical activity that can take place here is homologous chromosome become find each other and they paired up, which we call they can sign ups. And again, one feature that meiosis can be differentiated from mitosis, chromatid undergoing crossover. This crossover may be takes place between sister chromatid. When chromatid came from same allele in homologous pair. And again, it may be takes place between non-sister chromatid. Chromatid from different allele in homologous pair. This crossover in the synapse is very important during the process of meiosis cell division. As a result of crossover, which is important for exchanging a segment of genetic material between homologous pair, for daughter cell show a genetic variation. None of the daughter cell is genetically identical because of the process of crossover. And again, this activity of crossover can be contribute to the low called law of independent assortment. This law states that gene can be assort independently of each other. The separation of gene from one to another, since they are found on different locus, which may be applied during Mendel dihybrid in the trihybrid cross. As a result of crossover, which can contribute to that of exchange of genetic material between homologous spur, between sister or non-sister chromatid, each daughter cell can be show a genetic variation. So, meiosis can contribute to that of genetic variation or diversity among the daughter cell. Meiosis can have two consecutive or successive cell division, which is meiosis 1 and the meiosis two. They are successive, which can be meiosis two depend over that of meiosis one. During meiosis one, DNA and associated histone protein become replicates, make an exact copy of itself, in which the copy in the original can be tied together. They can be held together. And again, there is a crossover. Only crossover can be takes place during meiosis 1 to exchange their segment of genetic material. As well, meiosis is considered as a reductive division because it reduces the diploid, the parental chromosome, diploid 1, into haploid or N1 to n chromosome into n chromosome number. Well then, there are four consecutive stages in meiotic one cell division. This is prophase one, metaphase one, anaphase one, and the telophase one. Meiosis one become bigger with interface. By interface, it is considered as a ready or preparatory phase during which chromosome and another associated histone protein become duplicate, make an exact copy. No other phase can be evolved in chromosomal duplication except interface stage, where they can be joined by centromer here. The end phase of meiosis 1 is prophase 1. Prophase 1 can be divided into so many phases. Of all phases of meiosis 1, it is considered as the longest and the most complex stage of meiosis cell division. During this phase, a spindle fiber formed and the nuclear membrane disappear. Disappearance of nuclear membrane and the appearance of a spindle fiber which can rotate homologous pair from one area to another of the cell can be takes place here. Homologous chromosome become synapse each other. 
they can find accordingly karyotyping here the shape size into four pair which we call tetrad formation in the bivalent formation may be found only during process one process one is where tetrad or bivalent homologous pair is found another very critical activity of meiosis can be takes place during process one is there is exchange of a chromosomal segment found which i mean crossover found here at a point called chiasmata points when you are speaking about process one homologous pair of sister chromatid which we call bivalent one find each other in the paired up here this is a homologous pair because a copied in the original become held together by centromer when you are speaking about meiosis one we are speaking about that of homologous pair there is finding each other to become exchange their chromosomal or genetic segment which we call crossover only takes place during process one here there is a site here chiasmata points they can come together and again they can exchange their segment at chiasmata points here as a result of a crossover which is takes place during process one there is a genetic variation here bringing to that of genetic variation or daughter genetic variation from the original parent cell can be takes place because of the activity that is takes place during process one crawled over here metaphase one when we say metaphase one it is phase of meiosis which is considered as the shortest one and again when homologous pair become arranged at equatorial plate of the cell still the original in the copy one become held together by centroma when the homologous pair become oriented as the middle when the tetrad become arranged as the middle line of the cell we call it is said to be metaphase one well then student another very important phase of meiosis one is anaphase one still here during anaphase one a spindle fiber become move homologous pair in uh, attached form by centromer here it moves to that of the opposite pole when homologous pair become pulled or migrate to opposite pole of the cell we call it is said to be anaphase one when homologous pair come segregates separate from each other copy in the original copy in the original as are attached by centromer move to opposite pole there is no separation of centromer it's still centromer joining the homologous pair copy in the original one and the last stage of meiosis one is telophase one most probably the activity that are takes place during telophase one is the reverse to that of the activity that takes place during prophase one here a spindle fiber going to this appear and again nuclear membrane going to appear here the cell formed as the end of tail of s1 going to have its own nuclear membrane and its own cytoplasm and again there is the action of cytokinesis in the karyokinesis here nuclear division and the cytoplasm division takes place during tail of s1 the cell formed at the end of tail of s1 it is n number or haploid the cell formed at the end of meiosis 1 we call tail of s in looks like diploid or twin but it is n number which you mean since there is a, a presence of centromer here no centromer separation still they can be joined together the cell can be homologous pair copy the original found together if it looks like two n the cell is n number cells that are segregated to opposite pole by spindle fiber during anaphase one become going to half its own cytoplasm and the nucleus are the result of cytokinase and the karyokinase 
The doubters say that are formed at the end of telophase 1, going to enter into interface preparatory phase for the next division for a short period of time and progress to the next successive cell division of meiosis called meiosis 2. By that, these are some activities that are logically takes place during prophase 1, metaphase 1, anaphase 1, and the telophase 1. Student, in our today's lesson, we have seen as meiosis cell division can be evolved, the union of male and the female gametes that can contribute to a genetic variation. And again, we have seen as meiosis can be evolved, the duplication of the original parental chromosome, where the original and the copy can be held together by centroma. And again, we have seen as crossover and the synapse can be takes place during prophase 1 stage of meiosis 1, which is a reason for genetic variation. And finally, we have seen that the cell formed at the end of telophase 1 of meiosis 1 looks like diploid 1, but it is hyploid 1, N1, which can enter into interface for a short period of time and progress to next stage of meiosis called the meiosis 2. This is all about the today's lesson. In our coming lesson, we will see meiosis 2 and genetic significance of meiosis. Until that, goodbye students.